welcome to facts and awareness today i'm going to discuss with you on one of the most interesting topics of this pandemic food coma yes you heard it right the new trending and the alarming disease of this pandemic especially for the younger generation today let's discuss on this new disease food coma what is food coma when is a person diagnosed as affected by food coma by the doctors what kind of diet or the food triggers food coma disease in an individual also following these questions let's deep dive into the science related to food coma and how does your brain react when you are affected by the food coma disease let's discuss on how food coma can be avoided and what precautionary measures do doctors recommend to avoid food coma let's discuss one by one in detail food coma i'm sure you would be wondering by this name food coma yes we all would have heard the disease coma but this food coma will definitely be a strange one to hear right well to begin with let me explain you on what is this food coma disease after a big meal did you hit the couch get comfy grab the remote and spend the rest of the afternoon or evening lounging in a semi vegetative state unable to do much more than just change the channel with the remote if you have done this then you could be potentially a food coma patient yes you heard it right in fact as per medical study reports food coma patients have gone up terribly especially in this pandemic in fact the shocking statistics reveal that many young generation don't even know that we are food coma patients while the cause of after meal sluggishness is up for debate whether you are a food coma patient or not as per doctors when your belly has been bloating accompanied with laziness attitude and heaviness with a feeling of tightness in your belly you might be having food coma so basically if you feel sleepy after every meal irrespective of whatever diet you intake then it's a concern now let me share you on what nutritional diet food intake will trigger and make you feel the sleep sensation also we will discuss on how this sluggish sleepy behavior activates your brain and the science behind the sleep trigger let's deep dive one by one in detail have you experienced a food coma after thanksgiving dinner many health experts attribute this post meal slump to the high levels of tryptophan this tryptophan is an amino acid basically found in meat products and dairy products like cheese high fat milk etc when this amino acid is consumed along with the carbohydrate rich food like mashed potatoes and stuffing it easily enters the brain and boost the serotonin levels when the serotonin secretion in the brain exceeds the permissible levels it will lead to several mood related behaviors causing drowsy feeling this is the reason why we feel sleepy after a thanksgiving dinner with turkey as your diet and your sleep wake cycle gets impacted also some health experts say this food coma is caused when the pns or the parasympathetic nervous system gets affected when the food intake is high it's obvious your stomach expands after a heavy meal so the pns system which regulates the body functions like heart rate blood pressure and digestion triggers signals causing blood flow to direct it more to the working digestive organs and less to the brain this light blood flow diversion may cause you feel sleepy and tired some people might be thinking it's not a big deal in taking a small nap after a meal right well as per recent study the rising trend in the food coma habits will lead to 73% increase in the risk of heart disease and diabetes yes you heard it right 73% you are at higher risk of getting diabetic at a very young age as per statistics globally in this pandemic younger generation between age 20 to 35 has increased terribly since we all stay indoors for quite longer time yes even though doctors classify that a person becomes food coma patient due to lack of exercise on a broader perspective the current generation food habits changes are also a big factor in this food coma patient increase since our way of diet has changed to increase junk food eating more dairy products like cheese mayonnaise and eating more meat products like pork beef is also an additional cause of concern well i'm not saying that we should not or never eat the favorite foods you can always very well eat your favorite foods but at what proportion is more important now let me share you the ways doctors recommend to avoid food coma as prevention is always a better than cure 
if you want to avoid landing on the couch for hours after your next indulgent meal there are few guidelines you can follow number 1 eat smaller meal proportions at regular intervals probably instead of having a full meal at one shot try to have food in smaller proportions every 3 to 4 hours number 2 Also, similar to the smaller proportion recommended diet by the doctors, doctors do recommend to include liquid diet frequently on our diet pattern. Probably like a soup, porridge, smoothie, which is always better than going for a solid diet. Number three, doctors mention that we should ensure that the solid diet should be composed of a balanced food, since more fat diet intake could make you get addicted and lead to food coma at a very young age. Hope. Now you would have understood why pizza or pasta is always a favorite food menu for the current generation. The answer is so simple. It's because of the cheese that triggers addiction. Last, number 4. Getting active after a meal. Try to increase the blood circulation in your body by doing a small short walk. This will help your muscles to be stimulated and help you burn the calories. In this audio, I just wanted to share and bring some awareness on the emerging food coma disease in the current generation. In fact, the real fact is many people don't even realize that our diet pattern changes and physical health activity changes has caused us to become the food coma victims in this pandemic. With this in mind, I am sure the name food coma may just remind you to stick to smaller, less fatty meals next time. Let's hope to follow these simple food practices and recommendations to have a healthy society from becoming diabetic. If you like my video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Facts and Awareness. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.